been doing this hypertrophy, the hypertrophy training, which has been all about gaining size. High rep range, super high intensity. It's go, 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 go. Usually it's four exercises, eight sets of eight, 30 seconds rest. Today's that day, we got arm day. So buckle up, strap up. It's time to pump you up. I'm trying to get on the road and travel a bunch and move. Problem is it snowed like a foot outside, so the roads are shut down. Doesn't stop you from getting in here, getting a good workout though. Arm day, so it's not too taxing. I'm gonna run a mile as fast as I can. I'm gonna do a little bit of warm up, and I'm just gonna go. So I'm just gonna try to run it in seven here. 215, 210 to 215 pounds. We're gonna see how we do it here. Crank it up a little bit. Ten more seconds. Oh, there we go. Six fifty eight. So we've been hypertrophying training for a while and I've been getting a lot of questions. A lot of people are loving it, <clears throat> but they're asking, is it good to, to build muscle? Hypertrophy is making something larger. Now, a lot of people believe, and it's been kind of, you know, in magazines and everything, the only way to make a muscle larger is by using heavier weights, you know, and progressive, progressive loading or overloading of weights is is one of the best ways to do it. So you use a weight and then you go up in weight. But that's not the only way to make a muscle larger. Um, what we're doing here, and it's a really good way, is by doing more work in less amount of time. So it could be done, it could be done in a, uh, with barbells, it could be done with dumbbells, it could be done on a Smith machine. I've done them on, on a Smith machine before and gotten a really good pump. So you know, on a bicep curl, the tension, if you're using just free weights, sometimes it's taken off you know, from here to here, you don't have any tension on your biceps. But with a cable, constant tension throughout. First one's kind of a, a feel out. Again, we're doing eight reps, we're doing eight sets, and we're doing 30 seconds rest. The first couple ones might not be difficult. That's okay though, because around six, seven, eight, it should really be starting to get tough. Um, you know, form, again, these first couple ones, super strict. No need to get sloppy. Maybe seventh and eighth, those sets. Start cheating a little bit to make it hard, just enough to get up their weight. All right, that's four down. Like I said, you know, the mile, something like I did there, that's just to kind of get me out of going through the motions. Did not feel like coming in, it would have been really easy just to kind of go through the motions, but slamming that, like totally throwing a wrench in your workout, is a great way to kind of get out of that funk. People do that in relationships, and jobs, and sports, and everything in life, you kind of just go through the motions. You do something long enough, and it's just, it becomes routine, and you don't have to think about it. Just like in the weight room, you go through the motions, it's arm day. I'm gonna do this, 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 and this. Throw it up, throw a wrench in it. Try to try to do everything 30 seconds rest. Eight sets of eight, five sets of five. Totally making things new, a new stimulus. Almost all the way locked out here and almost coming straight up and straight down. I bring it actually a little bit closer towards my body, towards the top. Here at bodyland.com, you can see in the back they have, uh, they got their food, their healthy options there in the cafeteria. And you know how people here, uh, you know, they, they practice what they preach. If you look, I'm actually, I'm, yeah, I'm digging into the garbage can right now. This is what, this is what you find. 
You're not finding McDonald's wrappers. You're finding sirloin burger, brown rice, and broccoli. And I'll tell you what, the Beat Elite, that stuff is legit. I travel with it. The only thing that I would, you know, this is a good thing. It doesn't have enough sodium for me. I have to add hot sauce and salt. You know, if you don't like sodium, add Mrs. Dash because they bring it to you just as food. That's all it is. There's no preservatives. There's nothing uh, in there that you're going to, you know, that's going to make it taste, you know, a ton of seasoning. But that's how you want it. If you have a long rope, use that. If you don't, no big deal. Use the shorter rope. Triceps are always going to be probably a little bit stronger than the biceps. So I'm going to go a little bit heavier. Feet are going to go up against the back there. You're just going to take, whoa. Just try to set something stronger than I thought today. Seven. Eight. 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 Oh. Halfway there. You don't want to do the tough things. Stay in the moment. Stay in the pain. Keep the mind muscle in there and grow. Ow. Shake it out. that clock keep it on 30 seconds Two. Straight into our bicep. We're not taking any any time, no rest here. Six. Seven. You can see up and then kind of hammer it back down, bring that brachialis into play. We're going straight from there to our incline. Come on. 
get it. Oh. Give it about 30 seconds. And then we're gonna jump in to the triceps. Not even close. Sets down. We have two more to go. One, two, two, three. Hey. Oh. Ah. That is it for our hypertrophy training. That's it for the arm day. You've seen every body part now. I like to do these. You know, I like to do abs and calves. Um, when I do cardio, either in the morning or at night, try to get those in, even if you're bulking, even if you're off season, still work on those. You know, it's a lifestyle, but you know, it's old nation, hypertrophy.